Hello everyone, welcome to Awaiting Input. My name is Ken from the Computer Clan and today we're going to be talking about some Windows 9 technical preview information. We have some leaked screenshots that we're going to talk about. So I'll cover some of the news, then I'll tell you what I think about Windows 8 and Windows 9, and then I will give you guys a chance in the comments below to share your opinions about what you think about Windows 8 and the upcoming Windows 9. So right off the bat, a lot of things we're hearing about in terms of the name Windows 9 is that it might not even be called Windows 9 at all. It might just be called Windows. Other news sources are also pointing to the fact that Microsoft might be removing the Nokia name from products as well as the Windows Phone name from products. It might just be all one Windows. So now in terms of the operating system itself, Windows 9 looks like it's moving towards bringing back a lot of the desktop functionality. So for example, we have a new start menu that appears down in the taskbar area here connected to the button. And if you click it, you not only get your live tiles, but you also get your traditional program list. And you even have the user account item on the top of the menu along with your power button. You also have the all apps button and of course that very handy search bar. It looks like there's going to be a dedicated notifications area in Windows 9 as well. Throughout the system you will notice a lot of the desktop icons are starting to get more of that modern UI kind of feel, formerly known as Metro UI. The modern UI feel is flatter typically. The desktop folder icon for example and the explorer icon in the taskbar. Those are new flatter icons that follow more of the modern UI look and most likely you're going to be seeing those types of icons throughout more of the system. Here is a modern UI app running in a window. Currently, they only run in full screen or in snap positions in the Windows 8 system. But now you can run these apps in a window. And you know that charm sidebar? That is now gone. All those functionalities and more are now included in a little menu in the upper left corner of the windows. And as you can see, you even get an option to bring those windows into the full screen mode if you choose. Here's another small interface change. The jump lists have more of a modern UI look to them now. They look a little bit different than they do in today's system. A brand new feature we're hearing for Windows 9 is virtual desktops. So this plus button will let you add a desktop if you want, and then you can switch between them down here. So if you haven't used OS 10 or Linux before and you don't know what virtual desktops are, essentially, they let you add certain windows and apps to function in one workspace on your computer. So you can have one space to hold two different apps like Internet Explorer and maybe Microsoft Word. And then you can actually have a whole separate clean desktop to switch to if you want to have other apps in that desktop as well. What we're also seeing is two new icons in the taskbar. One looks like a quick button to get to search and the other one I'm not 100% certain about yet, but I think that's the button to enter the virtual desktop switching interface. It's kind of like Alt-Tab, but instead of for Windows, it's for desktops. So that's a quick look at the news of Windows 9. Now let's get into some of my opinions. From my perspective, I'm okay with Windows 8. I've been using it for a long time. In fact, I ordered it right when it was available, the early release version. And I don't have a problem with it. However, I do understand the main problem with Windows 8 was that Microsoft threw too much of a learning curve at the average user, and that's what made it confusing. So what we're seeing with a lot of these updates is not necessarily new features, but features that probably should have been there since the first version of Windows 8. I think Microsoft jumped too quickly into the modern UI environment, and now they're trying to bring back a lot of the desktop functionality. And that's what we're seeing with these updates. But in addition to that, we are seeing some brand new features, like I mentioned with the virtual desktop switching interface, which is something I have wanted in Windows for a long time. Another thing I seem to notice a lot, and it's a pattern that I think a lot of users notice, is that Microsoft typically has a good bad release schedule. According to the general public, this seems to be true. For example, XP was pretty well received. Vista was not really well received. Seven was really well received, but eight, not so much. And if I'm not mistaken, I think eight even missed the sales projections that Microsoft had to set for it. It kind of flip flops back and forth. Good, bad, good, bad, good, bad. And this may not always be the case, but if this pattern persists, then we could pretty much predict that Windows 9 will be a lot more successful than Windows 8 and maybe Microsoft will get some of those users being brought back. Now it is your turn. I am awaiting your input. What do you think about Windows 9? Will it be more successful? Do you like the new features? Do you like Windows 8? Were you skeptical about Windows 8 at first? Feel free to share in the comments below and let's get a discussion going. I want to know what you people think about this topic. So thank you for tuning in to Awaiting Input and I will see you next time.
If you wish to stay updated with Computer Clan uploads, smash that subscribe button and hit that like button if you liked the video. Want to get a behind the scenes look at the Computer Clan? Feel free to sign up on our CC Backstage forum. And if you wish to see more content from us, visit us on thecomputerclan.com.